come down to see if any KCOs and BCOs engine. This is a pretty cool wide body. I swear I recognise this anyway. I just wanted to get this all off my chest. So Demon just got out of can. I gave my bro an event. So welcome back to the channel. We are, yes, yeah, selling a Tegel. I'm not really sad about it because the car's not my build. I'm just gonna jump in straight away saying the reason why I'm selling the car because the fact is it's already built, like I said, and I wanna, like, where, where's the content gonna come from? Like, as you can see, I haven't been uploading recently because there's nothing to film on a car that's already built. So I think it's, you know, my responsibility as a YouTuber to basically to sell a car, to sell this car and um, get something that I can build from the ground up again, like the Mini, which you guys really enjoyed and took a total, like, so, so really in, that's a great interest into me doing that. So I'm gonna do the same sort of thing again, but actually stick to a build this time, because I know you're all like, Luke, you sell a car every single week and you can't afford it and things like that. Yes, I can afford it. I, guys, I can completely afford it. I can go out and take the day and just, take a trip up to Scotland and that and if I wanted to I paid for my insurance outright and just please don't give those sort of comments because it is because that bad vibe and the people are saying like Luke is too overpriced and things like that uh, all these people giving negative comments I always think to myself like look you're the one the ones that give negative comments are the ones that can't afford the car to buy it or actually have no life and just want to make my life miserable so what's the point what are you going to gain from it like just don't bother doing it so I want to head down to our performance and show you guys uh, Ben's unit where he's like a Honda specialist. Uh, I don't know if he's got much down there, but we're gonna go down and see him. Just to ride down the R performance. Uh, got a pre facelift there. He's got another silver EP3 there, I think, just down there. We'll go find Ben quickly though, because um, he can show us about nothing. Not a bad way to come down to see if any K series and B series engines down there. Get Ben on camera, great shoot, Ben. <laughs> this is Ben anyway, the owner of the company. Um, like I said, we'll be doing a few more videos of him soon in the future, and he is supposed to be getting a new car soon as well, so hopefully we can feature that in the future, because he has just blown up his K20, hasn't he, Ben? I have. <laughs> but now, yeah, he's got a few engines lined up here, which is cool, which is another thing. And one thing he did say as well, everyone comes in and just socialises and mooches around, which is a really cool thing to have down here, because a lot of mini garages, like I said to Ben a minute ago, um, come in and let you have a little look around and talk to you and explain things to you. It's usually you come in, get your car done, and you go out again, but... Yeah, it's pretty chilled down there. So we're not going to do like a full video of uh, Ben's place today because he wants to clean it up a bit and, uh, and get a few more nicer cars in, which is understandable. Um, he wants to show you like, what his full potential is down there. So obviously pre faced if he'd be free here. Got another one missing the front end with the ride showing. This is a pretty cool wide body. I swear I recognise this anyway. I do definitely recognise it. I don't know if it's that is that wide body one. But this is actually like really nice. I don't know if it's because there's definitely one that's like turbocharged or supercharged. But personal steering wheel, a few carbon bits as well. Really nice to be fair. That's a few goals for some people. <laughs> and then um, Ben's got a Fiesta ST which he drives on daily, which he's trying to get a few bits done to because um, he's got into the market of thing where basically a lot of people are like the Fiesta ST, so it's not just Hondas he does, but he does specialise in a lot of Hondas. So we've got an S2000 here as well, got a silver K20 here. And obviously FN2 with, a, with another facelift uh, EP3 down here as well. So, um, like I said, I will come back down here again in the future. Um, he hasn't got an R performance sign up yet, I don't think. But this is where he's located. I couldn't find it at first because I had to go over there. But um, I came in on the right and it was literally right here on the right. So the postcode does take you to the right place, sort of. Um, what I'm going to do now quickly is just head back to the DC5, explain to you lot what's going on with it, and then once I get back, um, I'll just give you the future plans of that. But yeah, it's nice to come down and see Ben off and once a load of things we'll be doing here in the future. I'll come down and do a full video, and uh, I'll see you guys then. We are here. Oh, turn that one off. So yeah, it was really nice to go see Ben at our performance. Um, like I said, there'll be a lot more coming in the future from him and others. So it's a really nice place. He said he's doing a barbecue soon where we get loads of like meet and greets. So really cool. So, um, Ben's a really nice guy. And so is the other guys I met down there as well. So shout out to you lot. Uh, but let's go talk about me selling a DC5, explain everything. So let's head over there now and um, get the chat on. <sighs> so Chris got some lovely cars down there. A 1.6 TD CI is either guess as well. So ignore the price, it's not 12 and a half. The car's actually up for 12. But we'll go inside, well, actually we'll do a little walk around and then we'll do a, uh, we'll go inside and explain to you guys what's going on in a second. We'll just grab the key first though. Okay. Let me just get the camera all set up a second. So then lads, let's have this discussion because all I'm getting at the minute is a lot of hate comments and stuff like that. I'll go in with the first one. Yes, the car is category D, but category D, like it's changed. I think it's like cat N or something like that. They've changed it all to now. 
But Category D, um, when it was Category D, is like the least amount of damage um, that you can possibly get on a repaired car. So as you can see, the car was repaired to a really good standard and um, it's been spray resprayed in this lovely, beautiful like, pearl yellow and I absolutely love it. Now, everyone's saying, Luke, you're not gonna get that price for a Cat D car. Now, yes, if it was a standard DC5, um, I don't understand why you probably are thinking I'm off my head, but considering I spoke to Ben earlier from our performance, who said um, a K24 with a K20 head fully forged build um, on its own is probably about, and for the whole sort of build in this car, he said you'd be looking at about, I don't know, 10 to 15 grand just for the build. And um, like maybe even more, he said, considering it's like fully forged as well. So, I mean, the engine's good for about 600 brake, I think, 600, 700 brake, I'm pretty sure of, because it's all fully forged. Yeah, it's on a log manifold, which restricts it a bit, but you can still turn it up to like 450, 500 brake horsepower with the turbo easily, and the engine and easily all handle it. The only thing you'd have to change is probably the gearbox, because they are quite strict, uh, they're quite restricted at 300 foot pounds, I believe, on these. But it's got a stage four clutch anyway. Um, like I said, the only thing if you want to go for crazy more power is change it up to, uh, change up the gearbox. I think 12 grand is a really, really good price, but I'm open to offers on it. Um, I've had plenty of offers already. I've had about 15, 20 people offer me about 10, 10 and a half grand. So like my price is not stupid at all. Moving on. So the people that are giving me hate comments all the time uh, about this car or me selling it and things like that, nine times out of 10, they're the people that are, that are really insecure and don't have a clue what they're on about. Um, also, they just probably don't have the money to even buy the car, so they just start roasting other people, thinking they're gonna get away with it, when, to be honest, it's not really phasing me at all, because I'm sat here now, still loving my life, I've got the tag, um, I'm doing I'm doing reasonably well on YouTube, and I've got a good bunch of followers, apart from the ones that obviously just like to come in there and just give me give me beef, but you know, it's, 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 don't, it's, don't let it put you down, if you're a YouTuber and you're getting this sort of hate, like, don't let it put you down, because what's the point, like, people in the day, you can do what you want with your life, like, Jamie FYD, he's just gone out and bought a car that's not exactly the same as what everyone else is going to like, he's done what he's wanted to do, because, you know, it's, it's he sold it like a, he sold a car, basically, ages ago to sacrifice to build up his YouTube, and now he's learned that it's, you don't have to do what everyone else wants to become a YouTuber, he's now got back a sort of car that feels sentimental to him, like he said in the video. So, guys, don't go race, do, racing? Don't go roasting in the comments about me selling this car and the price and stuff like that. Respect the build, right? I know it's category D, but like I said, it was the minimum amount of damage that could have happened to a car. Um, respect the build. Now, the, another reason why I'm selling this car on is to talk about the build. Yes, it's not my own build and I believe it's, I just find it wrong to keep this car continuously and stuff like that because it's not actually my build and I think it's not right for you viewers to watch a car that's already built as well. Um, I took the car on because it was a good opportunity to drive in like a 400 brake horsepower car. I had it all fixed. Everything spot on this car, it drives absolutely insane. I had um, someone, like I said, I think I said earlier, took it up to a show for me that was about happened about a week or two ago. It drives spot on, it did about 200 miles then and it was absolutely buzzing. Doesn't burn oil at all. Um, and it's this awesome build, it's a bulletproof build. Like K20s are enough, bulletproof enough. Now the fact it's a K24 bottom end with a K20 ported head as well, just makes this car um, unreal. And it probably puts you on to the point where, Luke, why are you actually selling it then? Why don't you just take the engine out and keep it for yourself and put it in another car? It's going back to the point of me, you know, wanting to do my own build, right guys? So yes, I'll give you one hint. Actually, I won't give you any hints for the next car. Um, none at all, because I just want to keep you guys guessing. I want to bring out something that's a lot better for you all. I want you all to learn like I want to learn as well. I, I, that's all I want to do now. Like I said to Ben earlier when I was with him, I'm all about helping other people out and um, doing things, showing people how to do them. And the only thing that lacks in my videos is having utilities and you know, like a unit and things to do these sort of things in, which I would love to in the future. And hopefully I can sort something out like that. Now working alongside Ben, my performance, um, you're gonna see a lot more from there. So if I ever get like a Honda again or some Jap cars and stuff like that, Ben's gonna be down there and he's more than happy to be on video showing you guys stuff. So that's a really cool um, like connection for me to have now with Ben, he's a really good guy. Uh, also got Simon as well, who's, who's mapping um got engine tuner who are awesome with jap cars and things like that so it's really good guys so i'm gonna just wanted to get that off my chest because i'm not phased at all by you haters out there because what is the point i'm just gonna end up if i if i get bothered by it there'd be no point doing youtube anymore because those people that hate 
are you up where I am right now in my position? No, you're not. You're just there commenting, trying to take the, the pee um, out of me because of what I'm doing with my life. So don't worry, like, just, what's the point in hating? What are you going to get out of it? If we're going to get a few thumbs up or likes on the comments down below, I mean, that's it. But, yeah, guys, I thought I'd get that out there. I'll do a walk around the car now just to show you it all and things like that with it running, etc. And then um, what I'll do after that is end off the video. But I just wanted to get this all off my chest. So let's go check the car outside. I'll show you everything. I'll be honest as I can with everything in the car. And uh, this is me now trying to sell the car to you. So enjoy. Oh, lovely Our first of all, this is going to be so windy, hold on. Let me just wait for it to get the cold start over and then the wind will die down a bit and then we'll go run through everything. Right, so I'm going to have to be pretty loud because it's so windy out here. So we'll start off on the front, tinted headlights, genuine Enki RFPO1 looking at the called. I can't remember off the top of my head. Yellow Brembo brakes, side skirt, Evo side skirts, custom exhaust system which sounds awesome. Now one bad thing I'll point out is this bit here, that bit on the boot is literally the worst bit on the car, that's all that's that's, I'm going to be honest here, that's the worst bit that's on the car, apart from that, it's absolutely awesome. Uh, the paint works so damn sick and clean, as you can see. But, here comes the wind again. Right, so I'll quickly move on to the engine bay. As you can see, it was blue before, and everything's taken over absolutely lovely in here. You've got your hybrid fuel rail, turbo bike, your heat blanket, uh, you've got your gram sprouts and CC injectors, you've got a few things heat wrapped, induction kit, Everything sounds, everything's sweet, but I just want to do my own build, guys. It's like, I don't know how much you can understand that enough. I'm going to give it a little rev a minute. So, yeah, that's it, just hitting it on the limiter because it only revs up to four grand on it, because um, that's what it's got. Actually, I'll show you. I won't rev it too much. Ooh. It's got a limiter up to like four grand. I don't know if you. I'll show you quickly. That's it, that's the limit. That's basically like the launch control. Now the gauges are not wired up yet. They got them um, basically when when the oil return got done, um, the gauges were just all like loose and stuff like that. So they're gonna put them back together. That's one thing that obviously the next owner needs to do. It's just easy, they're all down there, just need to be connected up. The car's sweet. If even get a you you even end up going with like nearly half a tank of um, momentum in it. How good's that, eh? But uh, that's pretty much a walk around the car. The full spec list is below on eBay. These blue Recaros are awesome, which just set off the car, I think, as well. Um, but yeah, guys, I can't really, you know, explain any more about the car because it's all in the description. And I just wanted you to go check out the photos. There's some awesome photos I've done. And the description just sets this car off completely. So two seconds while I quickly turn it off, drop the bonnet, um, and then end off the video because, yeah, I haven't really got much else to say. There we go. So I'm, I apologise it wasn't really professional as the sale little advert as I did with the Mini because it's my half day today and decidedly the weather's literally gone peak tong and just gone absolutely horrible up here. And it's a windy place up here anyway, but um, unfortunately I couldn't give out a really good overview of the car. But you'll understand. If you come and see it, come view it and drive it or anything like that, you'll understand and appreciate the car a lot more and understand its value. But like I said, for those of you are kicking off about the price, um, it's reasonable. Like the price is reasonable. I said 12 grand and I'm open to offers. Um, and you're getting a hell of a lot for 12 grand. Like, like the build, like I said, costs so much. So for those of you that are just kicking off, like if you're gonna kick off, look, I'll just put it this way. If you don't like it or put a hate comment or something that's not right, um, I'll either remove it or I'll end up blocking you because I don't see that. It's just, I hate negativity, it's pointless. Um, fair enough if you're like advising me or if there's something I've actually done wrong, but I've actually haven't done anything wrong and I never really have done. So um, I've done I've done well with this car. I got it, I sorted it out, it got sorted out um, and it's now it's running like a dream. So you can't, you can't grumble at that lad, so just leave it be. Anyway, thank you for watching today's video. If you are interested in buying EP, uh, EP, EP3, yeah, you're going to buy an EP3, lad. Um, if you're interested in buying the uh, Integra at all, I will leave a link in the description down below. It's on eBay. Uh, feel free to message me on that, or you can um, message me on Instagram, or message me on YouTube. I don't really check the messages on YouTube, though. But give me a message if you're interested in it at all. Um, you can come down and Percy see how it's an awesome car. And it's like I said, it's got, look, look at all this paperwork. It's got everything. 
absolutely everything as well. It's even got the Clifford alarm system, which is a faction one category alarm system. Like I said, everything in it, even including the day it actually got imported from Japan. So it comes with one key and it's got the uh, Clifford alarm system key on there as well, which is cool, which has got a lot of features on it you can do. Um, and program and stuff like that. But yeah, thanks for watching the video as always, guys. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And um, if you want to see more from Ben's place at our performance, just leave, leave, leave a comment down below and uh, I'll try and get these things out for you. But yeah, I'm just trying to be honest with you all. Um, what I'm going to do is buy a car and then the money I get from the car, the money I get from this car, I will basically put towards majority of it towards the house and then the rest of it on the car so i can do the best of both worlds and not leave you guys on youtube which is cool which i've wanted to do which is like i've had a good like chat with and um, like with people and things like that so guys i've got things sorted i the car's here it's uninsured now and it's made sawn because it's not going anywhere you know how it runs you've seen it how on on a drag strip but it's an awesome car just don't give me hate. There's no point. You're not going to achieve anything, guys. So if you want to actually genuinely buy it, get in touch with me. But for now, I'll see you all in the next video. Check out everything in the description down below to all my links and everything for the car. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now.